Hello children, welcome back to the English online class. So, we have already discussed about conjunction in which we have also talked or we have learned about coordinating conjunction number one and then we have learned about subordinating conjunction, right? So, these were the two categories under which we have learned different conjunctions like in coordinating we have learned about fanboys and in subordinating we have learned about a few conjunctions like while, after, whenever, when these are some of the conjunctions which are considered to be a subordinating conjunctions, right? So, we have already done our part of what you call uh, theoretical learning. Now, today is the time or today is when we are going to do the exercises, right? So, basically I am going to tell you or I am going to show you how you are supposed to do exercise B to D. That means B, C and D how to do all these exercises. As you can see, name of the chapter is already written and it is also written how to do exercise B, C and D. That is in page number 94, 95, 96 and 97, right? So, first thing first. In exercise A, you had to just write fanboys, right? Exercise B, it says that fill in the blanks with suitable coordinating conjunctions. So, what are the coordinating conjunctions? We have learned about fanboys. So, I have picked up a four sentence from all those ten sentences which are there in your book. I have picked up four to show you how you are going to do, right? So, while you are doing this, you have to refer to your book also, remember to understand like for what what it explains and where do we use it is used for different idea additional idea or to add two sentences so these are the things that you have to keep it in mind while you are putting and sorry you are putting a conjunction in the sentence right so the first sentence as you can see over here it says that i cannot stay now dash i will surely visit you soon this is the first sentence. The next that I have picked up is sentence number four. I have got a query from uh, one of you uh, who could not understand what to write for sentence number four in exercise B. So I have picked up that sentence also. It says that Lisa took some bread dash, spread some jam on it. What is the best suitable fanboy? What is the best suitable conjunction you can pick from fanboy to complete this sentence. I will tell you later. First, let me read out the sentences which are there in the board. Number five, it says that you must apologize. Apologize means where you are committing your mistake, right? Or you are feeling sorry for what mistake has been committed, right? So, you must apologize dash you have behaved badly. And the last one that I picked is sentence number eight from exercise B. One can choose to be happy dash grouchy. Grouch, grouchy means where you are not uh, very happy, rude, right? So that is the meaning of grouchy. Now, how do we go about? We have to suitably pick the conjunctions to suit the style. As you can see, I have now once again written those sentence with the conjunctions in it. The first one, I cannot stay now, but I will surely visit you. Now, while we learned about but, we learned that it speaks about the contrasting. Contrasting means, yet this is this, but it is that. So, when we contrast, right? For example, sometimes it so happens that uh, it looks very contrasting with white. If there is one red uh, strip or uh, red color line has been drawn on white, it looks very contrasting. It looks, both, both the color looks very eye-catching though both the colors are just the opposite opposite or one is light color the other one is very deep color so that kind of understanding is known as to be the contrasting right so over here in sentence number one we are going to use but next as sentence number four uh, you can see Lisa took some bread and spread some jam on it so first of all here what did Lisa do she took a bread and then she spread jam on it here in coordinating conjunction we also learned that we add two simple sentences we also learned that if we drop the coordinating conjunction 
then in that case what happens you can individually write each sentence this is another aspect that we have learnt in coordinating conjunction if you can see from sentence number 4 if you drop and and you write these two sentences separately then what happens you can separately write, write Lisa took some bread full stop spread some jam on it both the sentences are making complete sense this was also another aspect if you remember in the video I told you about it. next sentence number 5 of exercise B here I have added or we need to put for right so you must apologize for you have behaved badly so here if you remember something been said before talking about the past it has to do something that has been said before whenever we have to use for we have to keep this in mind that something that has been said before and for that you are saying this or you should do this now so sentence number five as you can see is the perfect example of that you must apologize for you have behaved badly number eight one can choose to be happy or grouchy so both you see there is a choice or always talks about choice either the other day I told you apple or banana so over here either you be happy or you be grouchy or rude right so this is how you are going to do exercise B so take a pencil and start doing exercise number B in your book in page number 94 and 95 next I will explain you how to do exercise number C fill in the blanks using where or wherever now these two conjunctions comes under the category of subordinate conjunctions right in subordinate conjunctions the most important thing that we have learned that if we drop the subordinate conjunction the sentences separately do not make complete sense so while doing that you got to keep it in your mind and if you remember right at the bottom of the uh, what you call the board while I was explaining it to you in the video where and wherever I made a bracket square bracket and I wrote place so basically where and wherever talks about or indicates the place so what are the two sentences that I have picked that is sentence number two and sentence number five the goats go to graze dash they can find grass you can guess if you can and keep the answer in your mind and sentence number five it says that let us look for a place dash we can park the car safely so here we have to fill in the subordinating conjunction and that too also you have been given the choice either put where or wherever right let us see how do we go about the answer but a quick reminder a quick reminder is this that where and wherever depicts the place remember that right so here comes the answer to those two sentences sentence number two the goats go to graze wherever they find grass they have no specific choice so wherever it's talking about a place so wherever they see greenery or wherever they see grass the goats will go and have grass over there sentence number five let us look at a place sorry look at, let us look for a place where we can park the car safely once again as I told you or as we have learned wherever and where talks about place in sentence number five also you can see where is actually indicating a place so this is how you are supposed to do or you will complete exercise C using where or wherever in the blanks wherever necessary next we are go down to exercise number D that is in page number 97 I believe 96 and 97 exercise C and D so fill in the blanks using when after before whenever while or until now these are also subordinate conjunctions remember these also falls under the category of subordinate conjunctions now I have picked up two more sentence from this exercise sentence number three what is there the fire brigade arrived dash villagers had doused the fire sorry not doused is dosed the fire so what it says the fire brigade arrived dash the villagers had doused 
dosed the fire next sentence number 6 it says that my mother makes special pudding dash it is someone's birthday let us see how are we going to answer these here do you know i want you to know this or if you have already uh, known about it very good if you don't know please see this the subordinate conjunction when after before whenever while or until are used to express time remember these subordinate conjunctions which you can see over here are used to talk about or depict time so we have to keep this in mind while doing exercise number d so here comes the answer for exercise number d it says that sentence number 3 the fire brigade arrived after or before choice is yours you can write one of the two words right so the fire brigade arrived after or before the villagers had dosed the fire next sentence number 6 my mother makes special pudding whenever it is someone's birth day so in both the cases you see it's actually talking about some point of time or somewhere it is talking about when it happened right so when is also a subordinating conjunction which talks about time so keep all these in mind and do exercise number b c and d in your book with pencil and send me the pictures of all these three exercises remember if you have sent me the pictures before i am not going to check that i am going to check today's work only and also in future the day on which i give you work you have to complete that work on that day itself right so we are done so i'll be waiting for your work fine so this is your assignment today you got to do exercise number b c and d and send it to me over whatsapp by 7 pm today thank you and have a great day okay bye bye